terrified and not sure if you've made the right choice about what you've done. And over that, you know, the course of your program with us, we see something happen where all of a sudden there's this magical transformation, this metamorphosis from that scared kind of deer in the headlight look to where the lights start coming on and you start getting it and seeing the passion and the, the self-confidence that you guys get in this process. It's just absolutely amazing. And through all the struggles, the sacrifices, and believe you, we recognize how hard it is to go to college and change your life and turn everything upside down to follow this path. But every single one of you stay determined. You identified your why in the beginning and you stuck to it. And through everything that, that you encountered and the, the speed bumps and, and the bumps in the road that came along the way, you still kept pushing onwards and upwards to get to this point. And again, I applaud you for that. That takes a lot of grit and determination, and I'm very, very proud of you. Um, you know, and a lot of students, when they first start, they're like, well, gosh, 10 months is such a long time. It's going to take forever. And then by the time you guys get to graduation, you're like, you, you know, you get ready for externship, and you get out there, and you're like, wait a minute. It seems like yesterday. It's a blink of an eye that all of this passes. But... It was a long journey, and you guys stayed the course, and congratulations, you achieved your goal. Don't ever stop, don't ever quit, always keep striving onwards and upwards. <coughs> so at this time, we have a few student speakers. Um, one of our medical assisting graduates, Ms. Marisol Martinez Romero. Would you come to the podium for your speech, please?
work and our personal lives it took to be here today. Um, I want to say thank you to Charter College for allowing me the opportunity to grow in the medical field. Um, I'm currently an obstet obstetrics and gynecology medical assistant, but I started my journey in um, family medicine and pediatrics. Um, I'm grateful I get to work alongside like-minded, compassionate, and intelligent medical professionals. Um, it is truly an honor to be able to uh, positively impact the lives of my patients um, by simply being kind-hearted, empathetic, and um, sorry, I'm nervous. And uh, loving what I do, um, it was definitely not e not an easy year for me. But um, thank you to all who supported me through it. Our journey has just begun, and I cannot wait to see all of you thrive in the field. Thank you. Well, Denise, for just putting that speech together, it was outstanding. <laughs> you did great, girl. All right, and so our uh, I'm proud to invite our final student speaker and also CMA graduate, the wonderful Karen Hernandez Velasquez. To the keynote speaker and again very honored to have our Charter College Dean of Education with us this evening. This lovely lady has dedicated her life to empowering people through education throughout her career. It's been my honor to work beside her for the last several years. Please welcome our Dean of Education, Ms. Christy Ruiz. Thanks, Angela and faculty, for inviting me to be your 2024 Charter College keynote speaker. As the Dean of Education here at Charter College, I recognize how significant this day is for you. I know you're eager to hear your name or the name of a loved one um, as they walk across this stage, so I promise not to keep you too long. Let me kick things off with a question. Has anyone ever heard of 
TikTok? Yeah, me too. It's quite the phenomenon, isn't it? Believe it or not, I've learned a great deal from TikTok. From makeup tips, to reminders about kindness, to adorable puppies, to dance moves that my 12-year-old daughter can learn in like two times and it takes me 30,000 times. But what I love most about watching TikTok is actually all of you. Let's take a moment to see what our Charter College students, and now graduates, have been up to. cherish. 
Or was it Brenda, your student success coach, reminding you for the millionth time to complete your discussion question? And then there's the financial strain. Working that extra shift when you were already exhausted, managing school, being a parent, taking care of a loved one, it's crucial to recognize that many of you did not do this alone. Eating that metaphorical elephant one bite at a time often came with support. Some of us had more resources than others, but we all leaned on someone. I want to take a moment to thank those of, the, those of you in the audience today who have supported these graduates. Without your encouragement and sacrifices, we wouldn't be celebrating this moment together. So thank you. Graduates, everything you endured to achieve your diploma, your certificate, your degree, was accomplished by taking those small, sometimes painful, bites of that elephant. Enrolling in school was a brave step, and now look where you are. As you prepare for what's next, I encourage you to keep inspiring others and be the change our world so desperately needs. Change is constant, but remember, no one can ever take your education away from you. It's yours for life. Congratulations to the Charter College class of 2020. to uh, recognize several of our graduates for outstanding performance. So you'll notice that some of our graduates are wearing those gold cords, which those are signifying our honor graduates. So these students uh, are being recognized for their outstanding academic performance by maintaining a 3.7 GPA or higher while in school. So my graduates, which we have a lot of those, our honors graduates, please stand up. <laughs> Outstanding performance, you guys. Great, great job. All right, now, our graduates that are wearing the green placement cords, they are being recognized for working in their chosen field of study. So our graduates with green employment cords, please rise. And let's give them a round of applause for their accomplishments in their field. All right, guys, you want to be seated? All right. And let's see. I don't think I have a C4L that's here with us tonight. Um, and then do you have any veterans with us tonight, either graduates or as guests? All right, guys, so we're going to move right along here. And on behalf of the faculty at Charter College, you know, we recommend the following candidates for graduation for their respective certificates and degrees. And so graduates, as I announce your program, I'll have you step forward. So we'll begin presenting our diplomas for the uh, Bachelor Associates of Business Administration. Marianne Jimenez Espinoza. I would like to thank God, my parents, and my children for having patience. We did it. Certificates and Medical Assistant.
I would like to thank my mom, my dad, and my family for supporting me and helping me work for this achievement. Andrea Cruz. I want to give a big thank you to all my family, mom, husband, kids, and my stepdad for supporting me in this adventure. I couldn't have done this without you guys. Thank you to my parents and my partner, George, for supporting me and motivating me to succeed. Samira Guerrero Ojeda. Thank you to Cynthia for supporting me through this fun journey. Marisol Martinez Romero. This is for my kids. Thank you for pushing me to achieve this goal. Ashley Harrington. I want to thank my mom and Chuck for their unwavering support. And thank you to Cynthia for always being such an impactful instructor. Karina Hernandez, I want to thank my family for supporting me through this whole process and also Cynthia for being the best teacher. I had the best experience at Charter. journey from where you started to where you're going and I want you to remember that transformation that you guys have gone through and how much we recognize it as faculty and staff I know your family and friends absolutely see that in you as well so always remember to reflect on your why and always keep striving onwards and upwards You've, you changed the course of your life with making the decision to go to college, and that was just the beginning. You never stop striving onwards and upwards. And we're going to be celebrating that change just in a few minutes by doing that uh, symbolizing moving our tassels over. But before we get to that, I'd like you guys, would you guys all stand for just a moment and take a look at your instructors. And I know, especially with Cynthia and Mariah, but especially Cynthia, how hard, how much heart and soul she pours into every single one of you. And she is probably the proudest person sitting on the stage tonight because she is so proud of you guys. So let's give her a round of applause for instructor. Let's give them a round of applause for them for their support on this journey. And then lastly, take a look at each other. You guys are very close and tight-knit, and you guys went through a lot together. So congratulate each other on your successes and being here tonight celebrating your accomplishment. Way to go. All right, you guys can go ahead and have a seat if you would like. All right, so as campus manager and upon recommendation of the faculty of Charter College, I am very, very proud to confer the respective certificates and degrees. By the power vested in me by the governing board of Charter College, the Washington Department of, of Education, the Accrediting Bureau of Health Education Schools, it is my right and privilege to award to you your respective degree or certificate with all rights and privileges thereunto. Ladies and gentlemen, I now present your graduating class of 2024. 20, graduates, move those tassels over to the left. Onward to the first day. All right, so that is, that is the conclusion of our ceremony. I'm going to ask the audience to please remain seated as our graduates uh, proceed back out into the lobby area. And once they're out, um, you can find your graduates out there and, and commence celebrating.
Yeah. I do. <laughs> oh, there is shorts on that. I was like, where are the rest of her outfit? 